I've got my smoked sausages. <laughs> yeah, I've got my M&Ms. From the 70s. <laughs> my diet sucks. Yeah, yeah, you're, I don't want to see what any of your uh, bodily excretions look like, because this would probably smell it before you see it. You yeah. know what I mean? AV Club presents Dice of Disgust, featuring Goodrich Gavart versus Sunday. Hello, AV Club. Welcome to Dice of Disgust. I'm here with my very special guest, Goodrich Gavart. Thank you for coming. Yes, thank you for having me here. Um, Goodrich writes for The Hard Times, comedian, writer. Yes. Are, there, are there any other kind of like adjectives I should throw out? Um, lover. lover. You can say comedian, writer, lover. Comedian, writer, lover, Goodrich Gavart. Yeah. The rules are as follows. Goodrich will roll this 12-sided die. Whatever number he lands on will correspond to one of these either delicious foods or one of these disgusting foods, smoked sausages, Pretty disgusting, yeah. given the circumstances. For sure. Whatever Goodrich rolls, whichever number he lands on, we'll put that food into the slop bucket. The slop bucket will then be placed on Sundays at the end of the game. And then, Goodrich and I, we're gonna enjoy it. I mean, I love a good ice cream parlor that has a, a bucket called a slop bucket. That would be a really nice thing to go up. Like, I wanna try the caramel truffle and the slop bucket, if I could get a little spoon. Have you ever eaten from a trough? Uh, or at least recently have you eaten from a trough? Not recently. In my younger years, you get into a trough every now and then, but no, not, not recently. I'm hey, an adult. <laughs> speaking of younger years, <laughs> yes. uh, you have a new album coming out in February? Yes, Is that yeah, February 16th, Portrait of a Young Weirdo. Uh, it's my first stand-up comedy record, and uh, I had a very interesting, weird childhood, and that's a lot of the jokes are all about that. Also, I stole a little bit from Jimmy Joyce, and uh, <laughs> I originally had a title that was Portrait of the Artist as a Young Weirdo, and that's too long. You recorded it live, right? Yes, you yeah, recorded it here in Chicago at the Beat Kitchen uh, oh. in April of last year, and uh, I made a... Uh, a zine with the album, so there's going to be a physical, like a uh, little mag, like a punk rock fanzine type oh, thing awesome. with the magazine with the download. So uh, it has like commentary on the jokes. So there's like timestamps. No way. Uh, that you can read along of like I have like stories of other like like sometimes you tell a joke a certain way and it starts to become your reality in the joke. Uh, so if some of them I tell like actually this is the real story of what happened, uh, or or like just background or, or fun things in there. <laughs> Let's play the game, shall we? Let's do it. Cool. Goodrich. Um... Roll away, we'll just get this thing underway. All right. First roll. Three. Boing. Oh, the this one. I asked Goodrich before the game, what food don't you want to land on? And mostly because this smoked sausage thing, I don't know which, it, it's, it looks like it was like 1965 and they left it on the shelf. Ugh, just like meats in a, oh, come on. Oh, it crumbles oh. on impact. Yeah. It's so flaky, it's like it's slow cooked. I'm gonna make sure we get one for both of us. Thank you. Oh, oh, there's juice. Don't forget the juice part, ugh. Your classic smoked sausage sundae. Made with chicken and pork and packed in chicken stock. Well, we started with the shittiest food <laughs> and hopefully <laughs> yeah. this question will make up for it. Okay. Good, Rich. Yes. You are a writer for the hard times. Correct. What's your favorite headline you've ever written there? Ooh, um, I think my favorite one is a piece I did. Uh, the headline was, my editor sent me to interview Lil Uzi Vert and his crew would not stop roasting my white my ass. My white ass. Yeah, oh, that, that one headline. was great. Uh, mostly because I just got to, it was an excuse to write uh, just, just uh, making fun of a white dweeb. Uh, just in, in like just like hip hop crew vernacular, just people like my man, like this Etsy looking motherfucker, like you know, fun stuff. Okay, roll more dice. Here roll. we go. Whoop. Here we go. Four. Four bananas. How does that make you feel? I mean, once now that the smoked sausage with the chicken stock is in there, it's bad times no matter what. Uh, so it's right. all gross. Is there any amount of here. like sweet and fruity things that we could add that will make you forget about the smoked sausage? No, I think the smoked sausage and chicken stock will trump all of it. No matter what you put in there, it's gonna overtake it. Have you ever told a joke you regret? Ooh, that's a good question. A little bit, I have a little tinge of regret. There, I have a joke where I, I talk about uh, uh, having my phone stolen from, from me while I was on the bus and my mom, he, the guy, the guy texted my mom uh, that she was a bitch ass hoe, uh, which is a fun move on his part, good for him. Uh, but my, uh, my, my mom and the joke, I say that she like sent me an email asking if I, if my phone had a virus and I don't think she did that, but I did need an end to the joke. So I then wrote that part and it became reality and I've told it in front of her and I feel a little guilty about it when I, when I've told it in front of her. Yeah. I've never done something super heinous. 
yet. Roll away. Let's roll again. I'll Here we go. Slip. Yeah. Twelve. Oh, you gotta be joking me. What are these oh, called? These are bread and butter chips. Oh boy. Uh, which chip is a uh, a bit of a misnomer because they're uh, pickles. All right, let's get a little bit of that in there. I got, so I'm gonna I got a little pickle juice I'm gonna go mix. for it. I'll give it a little Here's swirl too. Good, Rich, you can give any living person, hypothetically, a tattoo of your choosing. Oh. Who is it? And what is the tattoo? Oh, man. Um, first thing that came to my head, I would, you know how Steve-O has a tattoo of himself on his back? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would put a tattoo of me on Steve-O's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll it again. Let's keep it going, because right. we can only get No more savory. Six. Six. Are you? Oh, come yeah. on. There are so many other things right? that aren't vegetable based. Whole jalapeno peppers. Damn. Did you think that they didn't put carrots in there? They did. Oh, baby. Oh, this is bad. That is something I would I would eat with ice cream for fun. This is a traditional. Cream. You can get this if you head down to Pilsen. You can get some chicharrones and ice cream sundae with <laughs> whole jalapeno <laughs> peppers on them. Oh, it smells so bad. I it's can't. Pretty I can't. Reiterate that point enough. It smells horrifying. What are your top five bars? Ooh, top five bars. And I mean, interpret bars as you will. Old Dirty Bastards uh, verse on uh, Shim Shimmy Yaw. That's, those are some hot bars. Hot bars. M&M uh, ice cream sandwich. I'm gonna include as an ice cream bar. Good bar. Um, when, when I lived in Los Angeles, you could go to um, a dispensary, and then if you tip the person to get weed, there, there's like a little dab bar. Nice. So you'd like tip them two bucks, and that's like the secret. You'd be like, you wanna do dabs, dude? Like, <laughs> Hell yeah. <You're> just, <laughs> so you would get incredibly, yeah, it's, it's like, oh, you wouldn't do a weed dispensary. Do you like to get stoned? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got me, you nailed it. Um, let's say uh, Intelligentsia Coffee Bar, that would be cool. that would be a great one. Do they have those in LA? And I know you live <sighs> they, in Cincinnati. They now, do, they do they have do. them in LA. They, cool. The Sunset Junction one is like really what popped it off. In nice. LA, you know what, because I, I used to work for them, uh, in Chicago. Cool. Uh, but LA, everyone thinks it's an LA thing. And I had to be like, look, it oh, started in the Midwest, it's a Chicago but thing. now that's where everyone writes their screenplays. Uh, I can only assume if you've seen a movie, someone wrote it in Intelligentsia. <laughs> crowbar. My cr Tommy Crowbar's Tommy yellow crowbar, crowbar uh, is my favorite bar. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad because, so I do this character for Hard Times, Tommy Crowbar, who is a Boston uh, native, born Amazing. and bred, uh, who always wears black clothes, and thankfully Home Depot only stocks yellow crowbars. <laughs> so it is the Boston Bruins hockey colors of the black and yellow. It's meant to be. So it's meant to be. Exactly. Those are my favorite bars. Blood out! There we go. All right. Um, let's do this. Two. What is this stuff? Coconut, coconut flakes? Yeah. Coconut LaCroix, hate it. Mm. Least favorite flavor. Yeah. Coconut it's, flakes, ooh, I love it. It's a polarizing one. I just yeah. want to have a good taste before the reckoning. Right? Let's, let's dab a little bit of this guy in here. Okay, that's probably enough. It's this looks like a couple different people's vomit. <laughs> <laughs> you live in Cincinnati. I do now, yes. Why should we move there too? It's, it's cheap. Um, there is very good food. Uh, there is... Let's see. It's it's easy to get around. Um, it's fine. You know, I'm not I'm not the hugest advocate for it yet. I kind of just moved there. How long has it been? Uh, like four months. Okay. But um, it seems nice. Every it's, it, there's a lot of uh, like a lot of m like mountainous areas. The river's kind of cool. Nice. Um, they also have Fiona the hippo. Oh, what a treat she is. Fiona. Fiona is this famous hippo in the Cincinnati Zoo. She's an internet phenomenon. Nice. Everyone loves Fiona. Oh, great. It's kind of like the state mascot. Would you say? Yeah. So they had the whole uh, murdering a, a, a gorilla incident. That didn't play well. That was. But the now, Zoo. yeah. But now they. They have Horse. Fiona, the uh, the hippo that everyone loves, and it's like everyone's forgot this Harambe guy got shot. Uh, <laughs> That's a good cover. <laughs> yeah. Sweep that under the rug. Yeah. Social media marketers take that into consideration because if you can find a cute hippo instead of a murdered gorilla, <laughs> people will like it. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. Oh, what a treat. That's an appropriate way right. to Right, finally, a little caramel for daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, the icing on the cake. Yeah. Already brown color. Yeah, let's just really get that in there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a little bit, at least something sweet. Well, you got <laughs> Tom Crowbar, Tommy Crowbar. Yes. Hardcore legend in videos for hard times, mm -hmm. as discussed. What would Tommy's advice be to the current commander in chief? Oh, I think Tommy would really like his attitude because Tommy loves uh, to talk out of his ass <laughs> and say things he does not know the answer to as if it's the truth. I've been attacking people outside of venues for 35 years. Thanks to Hardcore, now I do it to fight racism. He would be like mad Trump is, is apologizing too much. He's like, you're giving him too much. <laughs> like, like the times when the media pressures you to say, oh, I, I, 
shouldn't be as racist. You'd be like, nah, you gotta stick, you gotta stick, stick to your guns. Gra- you gotta yeah. stick to your guns, you know? You don't like what someone says, you shove them. You, you shove just them, grab right? them by the face, you throw them against the wall. What are you gonna do? Here, take this do? crowbar. Fire you? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, would you like me to do the honors? Like, yeah, if you could be, serve it up. be a gentleman and scoop the goop. Uh, I would be happy. All right, we dropped a couple M&Ms in just for fun. Just to fill it out, you know, put our own stamp on it. All right. Um, should we just do it at the same time, or just... Yeah, let's let's maybe give him a little touch. <sighs> yeah, I love you. Mm. Oh, wow! Mm. I'm not gonna forget that, ever. I, mm. I don't know if that's legal, but I had to get the water out. There's bubbles around. <coughs> oh. <coughs> All right, kids, pursue the arts. This is what you get to do with oh, your I'm life. I'm so disgusted with myself. Wow, that um, that jalapeno, um, <laughs> that really takes the cake on it. <laughs> really, really stands out. Uh, and I think if I, I was gonna be worried about the sausage when we started. Worried. I'm full. I'm all filled <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I need seconds or anything. Yeah, wow. I, it's really I compliments to the chef. Goodrich, we've oh. really gone and done it this time. We have, we have, thank you, Avery. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm, uh, death's fine. I'm cool with the dying now, because this is, this is not living. 